you want to create some great beats in Ableton Live, check out this video and learn how to set this up. In this video you will learn the basic steps on how to create a drum beat in Ableton Live. We will use a VST drum kit to play all the sounds through MIDI. This way you have much more possibilities to edit and change the sounds compared to triggering loose samples. After starting Ableton Live, select one of the VST drum kits from the plugin folder. So I select the MT Power Drum Kit, one of the free VST plugins that I have installed on my computer and I drag this one to the first MIDI track. Next I double click on the first clip, which opens the piano roll view. Maybe it's wise to give this clip a name. This clip is standard set to one bar, so when I start the playback, you will see that the pattern only runs for one bar, from one to two, and then loops. I will change the length to two bars. The drum sounds of the power drum kit are situated from the C1 key upwards in this system. And if you click the little headphone icon, you can listen to the sounds so you know which one you should use. Now it is time to create your first beat. Let's start with the bass drum or kick at every whole beat of the bar. I right click and select draw. You will see the notes placed within the bar and at the bottom you see what the velocity of that note is. And because we just clicked the notes in, they all have the same velocity. Velocity is a value between 1 and 128 and it tells you how hard the note is played. This happens when you use a MIDI keyboard or drum pads, so a velocity of 128 is the loudest. If I want to change the velocity of any note and make it louder, I go out of draw mode and the velocity indicators will have a little ball on them which you can drag up or down. So now you will hear one of the beats has a different volume. Time to add a snare, and I will do this on the second and fourth beat. Now if you want to edit velocity of the snare and not the velocity of the kick, you have to select the snare first and then grab the little red ball and drag it up or down. Time to add the hi-hat, and for this we will use a quick draw function. First I right click and select the 16th note option, then I will draw these 16 notes on the two bars. Now all hi-hat sounds are on the same velocity, but they are still all selected, so I can change the velocity of the hi-hat in draw mode to make it sound more human. If you want to remove a note, you just click on it again and it will be erased. If you want to remove several notes at once, just go out of draw mode and select them and press delete on your computer keyboard. If you want to move a single note, you can drag it by clicking in the middle and move left or right or up and down. If you want to create different clips, just double click on the second clip and start all over again like I did in the first clip. Well, that's how you can create a basic drum track in Ableton Live. Now it's time for you to create some beats of your own. You know how to do this now. Check out the other examples of rhythm patterns we have or will create in future. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep you updated.